Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2016, and we're here at the Calios booth, and I'm here with, you are the CEO, are you not, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah with Oliver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so Oliver, let's start at the beginning. Who is Calios, and who do you help? So, Calios is a company developing and presenting to the market new cooling products. Uh, this is a new company. Two years ago, we started in uh, Leipzig, and now we have developed with customers because we always work with customers in order to adapt the right product to the real challenges of the clients. We have developed all a uh, range of products uh, addressing different uh, solution and different kind of uh, customers. Okay. okay. So my first question is: It's a big sign on your on your booth. It says "Stay water free." What do you mean by that? It's a, always a little bit of a challenge. I would not say a risk working with water. Even if we know that cooling with water is very efficient, we are proposing a third choice. This is an extended air cooling solution. We are staying with air. We are sticking being as simple as a, as a need sink, but as performant as a water cooling. And that's really a challenge, being water free, but as performant as water cooling. Okay, so I like this idea of an extended heat sink, right? So, so can you show us an example of that? So, the, here is a good example, which is a retrofit that we did for Intel. You see, this is the existing solution with two heat sink. The problem is that when you has to take a coolant to the dissipating parts, it's completely limited by the volume and the surface of exchange that you have on the top of the uh, CPUs. What we are doing is extending the solution, extending the exchange volume here, taking the heat with our two evaporators from the dissipating part and gathering that the most efficiently just close to the fence that you see are much smaller than the original one. Thanks to this solution on the retrofit and all the constraints of retrofit where I've been able to work with an inlet air at 35 degrees instead of 20 degrees, keeping the CPU at 70 degrees. Wow. That's an enormous potential saving uh, working with the air at 35 degrees. Okay, so, so how are you moving the air? It's through this heat pipe. Are you using vapor? Is that the yes, channel? We, we are using vapor, uh -huh. vapor, vaporizing air and uh, condensating air and coming back. So it's a completely passive system, as simple as a, as a heat sink with a delocalization of the problem and as powerful as a water loop, but water free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can well. Can you show us another example where this might come into play? Uh, yes. Maybe here. Over here. Yeah. Uh, th th there is an interesting example yeah. of a solution that uh, we have developed with a middle end server, a server that is absolutely not made for working in high performance computing. You see, uh, and which is not easy to work with the air cooling. You see the memories that completely stacked with, uh, with shadows, uh, air shadow, so it's not easy. With this system, we have been able, we have, it's a comparison, we have been able to keep the CPU, you, 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 it's difficult to see, but it's written at 60 degrees instead of 100 degrees exactly in the same environment. This is working live. Yeah, yeah. And just delocalizing the problem, taking the heat from the CPU, and just releasing that on this heat sink. Three fans. Here you have six fans. One, two there, two over there, and three over there. <laughs> okay, so, so you're not channeling this heat away to some water tank somewhere. This is the same no. air going through here, and you're being much more efficient keeping it cooler. Exactly. Okay, okay. Well, uh, what about like a... Uh, uh, home PCs and things where there's lots of fans and you don't want that noise. Yes. What do you got there? We have a solution over there that works for uh, as a PC fanless working as a workstation. Okay, Come over we'll here. Take a look. So I'll, what are we looking at here? We are looking at a fanless workstation. That means there are no fan, no water, no pump. It's only cooled by natural convection. 
and we are cooling 360 watts. We are cooling the, the latest generation of GPU from NVIDIA with a CPU and everything is cooled. It, all the heat is retaken out from the CPU and just spreading on a heat sink. And if you put your hand here, you can feel the heat. And it's just by natural convection with a chimney effect that we are cooling 360 watts. Completely noiseless, no fan, water free, <laughs> and no pump. That's great. I mean, like for an office environment, this could be completely silent. I mean, if you had an SSD, there'd be no moving parts in there, right? Yeah. Exactly. No moving part, and being also a no moving part, it's also very important for the maintenance and avoiding any failure. Because our customers told us that uh, it's not an easy environment for pumps. When you are close to 60 degrees within a server, it can be an issue. Here, no rotating parts, uh, no break at all. Okay. Great for a gaming system or something. So I gotta ask, you know, we're here, and Intel's just announced their Knight's Landing, their bootable processor, but this thing's a beast. It's very dense. A lot of heat. You guys have a solution for that as well? Yes, we have worked for the last six months with them in order to adapt our product to the interface. So here's the solution that we developed with Intel. Uh, this is the KNL socket P system that we developed. 260 watts released on one U heatsink. No fans, no no liquid. Yes, there, there will be fans over there, but no liquid, still water free. Okay. Uh, and uh, we are ready for the new KNL systems, and we are already discussing with uh, all the people that want to introduce that in their systems. And that has been qualified by Intel. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I I'll, I got to congratulate you guys. You know, a couple years ago we came and looked at this as a as a fledgling technology, and now you've basically reinvented the heat sink is something that's much more versatile and I think it's just fascinating so congratulations thank, thank you very much and, and about this robustness what we have also done is uh, systems with flexible tubes uh, for example we have yeah. an example over there okay that can be also funny to, to, to be shown yeah the, this is a system you see the two flexibles so you see how we can work in a really compact environment yeah yeah and taking the heat and releasing that here it's a, a th uh, 80 by 80 heatsink mm -hmm. with the fans yep a really low fan low turning okay. uh, low rotating uh, fans and in we can work in really compact environment with those heatsink uh, with sorry with those flexibles that can really jump over any tumbling block wow wow so you got the flexible tubing now, is there a pump in there, or is this all being forced by convection, or how is it? It's, uh, it's forced. Uh, there is no pump inside. Yeah. It's only a porous media, which is acting as a capillary pump. As a capillary. The, the completely passive, yeah. which is sucking the heat back from the condenser, uh -huh. where it's liquidized, uh, uh, condensates, and yeah. you're taking the liquid back to the the evaporator when uh -huh. it will be vaporized and coming back. Wow, wow, so that's another thing, another component without real moving parts to worry about braking or motors or any of that, huh? Yeah? Exactly. Well, well great, Oliver. This is, this is great to see and uh, uh, keep up the good work because I'm looking forward to seeing what you got next year from Calios. Thank you very much. Good job.